to Mr. Otter Studio. Today we're going to be painting a simple pair. This is a great beginning tutorial for acrylics. What you're going to need are the primary colors of acrylic paint, red, yellow, and blue. And then I'm also going to be using white. You need a canvas or a wood panel that you have primed with gesso. You need water, a rag, and a palette, which my favorite is a plate. And you're going to need a small round brush and a medium to large size filbert or a flat brush. Not always, but oftentimes with acrylic paintings, I like to paint a background first. So with this one, I'm just gonna paint a light yellow background. So just put some yellow on my white and my paper and dip my brush in my water. You just wanna cover your whole background with it. If you wanna use another color, use another color. I'm just using this color. If you wanna do anything differently than what I'm telling you to do, please do it. I usually recommend actually having a pair to paint. I'm just using a picture I took off the internet, so unfortunately I can't show it to you. So once you get your yellow background painted on there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sketch the outline of our pair. So I'm gonna rinse my brush off and lay it flat to dry. So now we're gonna take our smaller brush and we are going to paint the basic shape of the pair. So I'm gonna put my blue on here, get some water on my paintbrush, dip it in the blue, mix it with a little bit of my yellow, and I'm mixing water with it so it's a little bit clear. My background's still not dry, but that's okay. We can start sketching our image on. A pair is like an upside down light bulb. So if you have a hard time drawing this, just look at a light bulb and that might be a little bit more simple for you. Okay, so we have our basic shape of the pair, our light bulb shape. And I'm just gonna bring the stem. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix up the colors that we're gonna be painting inside of the pair. Wait a minute and let's let this dry and then we're gonna start painting our pair colors on top of it. After you've let your background dry, mix up all of the colors that we're gonna be using inside of our pair. So we're gonna be mixing up a dark green, a medium green, kind of a lime green with the light, and then we're gonna make sure we have a white. So I have blue and yellow and my white. You're gonna need more yellow. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of red kind of off to the side here. And more white. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix up the main color of the pair and then we're gonna do some highlights and some shadows. So we're kinda gonna go light to dark. And I'm using my large brush to mix this. So we wanna create our medium colors. Tons of yellow with a little, little bit of blue in it. Now we're gonna be adding a little bit more yellow and white. So we have our light, kinda medium. Now I'm gonna start mixing the darker colors. When we want to make our green even darker, so we can add more blue, but we can also add a little bit of red. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. But look how nice and dark that is. So that's like the darkest, darkest shadow. Really quickly, that's how I went from light to dark. So now that we have our colors mixed and ready, we gotta do this pretty quickly. Paint our second to lightest color, that's the main color of the pair. Put it on kind of the middle of it. Then I'm gonna start moving into my darker greens. I'm putting them in around the bottom next to the yellow that we just painted. Okay, and I'm just moving in my, to my darker colors. Okay, and now I'm gonna get this lime green in here again. So there's usually like some reflective light over here that I'm just gonna add. Whoa, didn't mean to make it white. There are some highlights in here that are white. I'm just going to take my pure white. I'm just get, getting it right in my white. Kind of gives it like that nice, juicy fruit look. But let's add some more shadow. So I'm gonna dip into my, my darkest green, but I need to rinse my brush since I have white on it. A little bit, not that much. Okay, now after I drop those shadows in, I'm gonna grab my kind of medium green. I'm gonna come in next to it and just kind of soften up those edges. So we have some nice shadows in there, but I need to keep blending them. I need to add the lighter color next to these. Now what we need to do is paint the stem. So to make brown, you mix yellow with a little red, make an orange, and then you add a little bit of blue. If it looks too green, you need to add a little red, and if it looks too purple, then you need to add a little bit of yellow. So I'm just gonna put this first color right on my stem. It's pretty dark. Now I'm gonna mix a little white with it. Grab some white, and then let's just add some highlights on the stem. 
Okay, so now we have our pear, now we just need to paint the shadow. It does need to be darker than our background. Okay, so I'm just gonna start by painting a green shadow underneath here. Okay, and then after I get a lot of that on there, I'm gonna take my bigger brush and I'm gonna mix my white with my yellow. And I'm just going to start to feather the edges because I want them to be pretty soft. Okay, now that shadow, still, it needs to be darker towards the pear. So the last thing you want to do is you can add some more outlines if you want to and you can also use the brown that you use for your stem and you can add some speckles but I usually will mix it with a little green so it's not quite so dramatic. So the last thing to do is to sign it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Click here for a link to a children's art class painting fruit in the style of Cezanne. Have a great day. We'll see you around on YouTube.